Today it's the start of the 2024 Major League Baseball Championship season. And this afternoon, the Marlins open up at home with game one of a four-game weekend series against the visiting Pittsburgh Pirates. And the excitement is certainly palpable. You can see it. You can feel it. It's certainly time to rock and roll here in 2024. And 24. Jesus Lazardo has led the Miami Marlins out onto the field here in Miami today. Baseball is back in 2024. Two pitches and one out for Jesus Lazardo this afternoon. And now he's got his first strikeout two away here in the first inning. And after getting the first two, a double and a walk, the Pirates will have two on with two out for Henry Davis. Here's the 1 0 pitch to Davis, and that is hit on a line to Jake Berger at 30. Picks it off cap high, and the side is retired. Mitch Keller makes his second consecutive opening day start. First Pirate to go in back-to-back -back years since Francisco Liriano. 0-2 pitch to Luis Arises. Swung on it. Miss strike three. Keller blows a cutter by Arise upstairs. Here is Josh Bell. Marlins acquired him last summer. And this one lined into left field down for a base hit. Pittsburgh fans no stranger to Josh Bell getting base hits. Well, here's Brian De La Cruz. Ground ball hit to third. Brian Key Brian Hayes backs up, throws it to second for one, throw to first in time with double play around the horn. That's a quick, tidy, and easy bottom of the first thing for Mitch Kelly. Here's Jared Triolo, the second baseman. And Luzardo's 2 2. Another slider for his second strikeout. Two away. And they say he went around. A couple of strikeouts in the second and three so far for Luzardo. First and third for the Marlins. Now Marlins set up to crack the scoreboard first. And a bouncing ball to O'Neill Cruz. Bobbled at second base and they're not even going to get that out. So Triolo never had possession of the ball. Berger still alive over there at second base and the Marlins will get the game's first run. And that brings up Tim Anderson. Anderson and the Marlins hoping for a bounce back season from him. But this is a guy who's had great years before. A couple of all star appearances, a silver slugger. And this one into right and down. Berger is going to round third and he will score. Tim Anderson with an RBI double and it's 2 0. And it's a nice way to introduce yourself to the South Florida fans. 2 0 Marlins lead. It's a one out walk here from the top of the third inning to Connor Joe, and that'll bring Brian Reynolds to the plate. There's a slide step, swing and a drive. This is hit high and deep to left field. You can forget about it. Brian Reynolds, a two run home run here in the top of the third inning off of Jesus Lazardo. We've got ourselves a 2 2 game. Here is Jazz Chisholm Jr. here in the third with a runner at first with one out. 1 2. Jazz drills this one right center field line drive and it goes off the base of the wall. Not enough height, but a double for Jazz in the Marlins half, second and third. So it's Jake Berger, single and a run scored. There's a base hit left field. One run is home. Jazz rounding third. Here's the throw. Save. Or a base hit, you'll get two. Berger to second and the Marlins take a 4 to 2 lead. Welcome back, top of the fifth inning, a 4-2 ball game, as is customary for every single one of Jesus Luzardo's starts, home, road, opening day or not, goes to the ballpark, and his dad is right there with him. This is at Pro Player when Jesus was a kid, way back when, hanging out with dad, and now it's a little bit different because they can't sit and chat together, but dad can watch. Ball of two strikes here to Telez. Struck out his first time up. Strikes out his second time up again to the slider. That's seven strikeouts for Luzardo. Six on that putaway pitch. Another 3 2 from the Marlins lefty. And another strikeout got him on the changeup. Eight K's. Back to the top of the order for Connor Joe. Here's the 0 2 from Luzardo. And that is a ground ball hit to second on two hops for a rise. Throws him out. And the inning is over. Jesus Lazardo has completed five frames here at Lone Depot Park this afternoon. He's retired his last eight in order. And now the Marlins have runners at first and third with one out here in the bottom of the fifth inning. For the aforementioned Jake Berger, who's two for two today with a couple of RBIs. Yeah. Berger to center, stays up for Taylor. Here comes Bell, he'll score on the sacrifice fly. Productive day for Jake Berger, his third RBI, 5-2. Well, a good chance for the Pirates. They have loaded the bases here with one out in the sixth inning. 
fastball and two strikes to O'Neill Cruz. 95 on the black. What a pitch from Nardi and a big strikeout. Bases loaded, 3 2, two outs. Cold strike three. Nardi comes in, puts out the fire. Everett Olivares is going to pinch hit for Rowdy Telez against the lefty, Andrew Nardi. Olivares. Fly ball to center field, hit pretty deep. Chisholm back to the wall, and how about it? Clear the deck. Cannonball coming his first pirate at bat. A pinch hit home run for Edward Olivares. And it's five to three, Bucks within two. Here's Anthony Bender. He works out of the stretch off the first base side of the rubber. The one-two pitch is hit in the air. Shallow center field. Chisholm's coming on, loses his cap. Here he comes, a diving catch! In center, full extension for Jazz Chisholm Jr. Oh, he just robbed Connor Joe of a base knock. A massive, massive play here in the seventh inning for the Marlins. Well, Taylor at third, Reynolds at second, Hayes at first. In a 5-3 game, top of the seventh. McCutcheon taps it softly to short. Only plays to first, Anderson gloves and throws out McCutcheon. The run scores. Taylor is in. It's five to four. Five to four as we start the eighth inning. O'Neill Cruz faces a righty for the first time today. Here's Sixto Sanchez. Fly ball Ooh. to left Ooh. field. Ooh. Toward the wall. And how about a tie game with a Cruz missile? Oppo, 5 5. Opening day 2024. O'Neill Cruz launches his first missile of the year to tie it at five. 25 pitches this inning for Tanner Scott, working up a lather, trying to get the Marlins to the bat rack in the bottom of the ninth with a chance to win it. Once more, Scott looks back, comes set, comes to the plate, line drive, caught by Burr third! Davis hit it on the screws, he hit it to the wrong man! Tanner Scott works out of a jam in the ninth. Extra inning baseball on opening day in Miami. So here is Triolo with a runner at second and one out. Ground ball hit to third. On the backhand, Berger's got it. Long throw to first, and Bell can't pick it. It gets by him. The runner goes to third. Davis with a big turnaround third. Coming to the play, a throw. Now Davis is in a rundown. Fortes runs him back towards third. A tag up play by Anderson for the second out. What is Mike Rabello, the third base coach, doing for Pittsburgh? 5-5, five, five, bottom of the 10th inning on opening day. Here at Lone Depot Park. Berger just needs a base hit to win it. The first pitch to Jake Berger. Hit hard to second base. Triolo to Cruz. Throw to first. Did it pull him off the bag? No. Connor Joe kept his foot on the bag. What an unbelievable play by Connor Joe to save a run and to save the game. Chop toward Hayes. Going to wait for that last top. And that'll do it. And Connor Joe who kept this game tied, will lead off for the Pirates in the 11th inning. Reynolds have the infield in, 0-2. Reynolds bounces one, backhanded by Bell, comes home, Fortez applies the tag. So by bringing the infield in and Bell making a great play, and Fortez on the back end, it again cuts off what could have been the go-ahead run. Great play on both ends for the Marlins. Two outs, and here's Kip Ryan Hayes. They check, and he went around. Big outing in his Marlins debut for Declan Cronin. Now the intentional walk of O'Neill Cruz at home plate as Jared Triolo comes up with two on and two outs. And into right center field, a base hit. Triolo delivers the throw to the plate, cut off. Bell's throw in the dirt. And now Triolo trying to get in a rundown. Cruz is going to be tagged out. The Pirates settle for one. Triolo delivers with two outs. A wild one in Miami. And the Marlins are down to their final strike. Started out last season 12-0 in one-run games. And they begin the year in a one-run game at the moment. And a fly ball to right. And raise the Jolly Roger in a wild one in Miami. The battle in Bucks. Raise it in extras. What a ball game.